Hello and welcome to Perspectives. I'm Stefan Slovak. We're here in Philadelphia at the 133rd Supreme Convention of the Knights of Columbus, taking place at the Pennsylvania Convention Center, the home of the World Meeting of Families. The Supreme Convention got underway on Monday with a series of meetings, including the Canadian Associations. In addition to their usual business, they were addressed by Supreme Knight Carl Anderson, who spoke to the group at length regarding their work and the future of the Order in Canada. Then on Tuesday, the day began with the opening mass of the convention. Thousands of knights filled the convention centre and were joined by a large contingent of priests, as well as nearly 100 bishops, archbishops and cardinals from around the globe. The main celebrant of the mass was His Grace, Archbishop Charles Chaput, Archbishop of Philadelphia. Then on Tuesday afternoon, uh, Supreme Knight Carl Anderson gave his annual President's Address to those gathered. In addition to tackling the business of, of the Order, state, he focused on the topics of religious many, liberty as well as the plight time, of Christians so in the Middle East. The Immediately Supreme following his report, the Supreme Knight stopped by to speak to our Emily Callan and Sebastian Gomes about his address. Well, I think we need to know our past if we're going to be able to create our future. And it's part of our Catholic identity and we, we just you know, th there's a danger of complacency that we begin to take our liberty for granted. And if we see what our forebears put up with, how they changed it, how they worked, uh, how they sacrificed for that, then maybe it puts it in a little bit different uh, context for us. And of course, also we see our wounded veterans and we had Captain Avila uh, with us uh, today, but we were in Lourdes on the pilgrimage with so many uh, uh, wounded veterans and disabled veterans. So freedom isn't free and religious freedom isn't free. So, so we need to understand our past and we need to know why it is that uh, religious, the free exercise of religion is so important. And the other thing that I think is important for this convention and particularly in the context of all the charitable work that the Knights do is the fact that people protect what they value. So society is not going to protect uh, religious exercise as a right if they don't see religion as a value. So we have to, we have to make clear the value that people of faith bring to society, what faithful citizenship really means. And it means certainly for us hundreds of millions of dollars of charitable work of actually going out to one's neighbor and saying, we're going to help you when you're in trouble. You're suffering, we're going to be there for you. Uh, but also a kind of values of brotherhood. And I think we shouldn't forget, you know, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, that's a Christian concept mm. for Philadelphia. And everybody knows the Liberty Bell, but let's not forget on the Liberty Bell is from Leviticus proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all the inhabitants thereof. So there's certain moral values that are the foundation of our free institutions and we dare not ignore those values if we hope to remain free. Tuesday was rounded out by the state's dinner which showcases the various groups of knights attending the convention. It began with a large procession into the banquet hall which was followed by dinner and speeches from a number of dignitaries. Today the day began with the celebration of the Divine Liturgy in the Byzantine Rite and was celebrated by Archbishop Stefan Soroka, Archbishop of the Ukrainian Catholic Archeparchy of Philadelphia. It featured a liturgy much different from that which was celebrated at the opening Mass. It featured Byzantine chant and incense, all according to the Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom. Peace throughout the whole world and the well-being of God's holy churches and the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. And our coverage of the 133rd Supreme Convention of the Knights of Columbus concludes tomorrow with a memorial at Mass airing live on our network. It will begin at 8 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Pacific, and will be celebrated by Archbishop William Laurie, the Supreme Chaplain of the Knights of Columbus. For more information on the convention, please visit our website at saltandlighttv.org slash k of c. That's all for perspectives from all of us here at Salt and Light. Take care and God bless.